my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. Our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first convert units of land in metric to English system and English to metric system and solve real life problems involving the conversion of units. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag curriculum for mathematics quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. So, kung hindi pa po natin na master yung ating metric system at English system, pwede po natin balikan sa ating YouTube channel. Okay, so ngayon, so we have to recall or kailangan ma-recall po natin itong mga summary of equivalences between units of land. Ano-ano ba yung mga unit conversion factors for land? Remember, land is the distance from end to end. So una, 2.54 centimeters is equal to 1 inch. Next, 3.28 feet is equal to 1 meter and 1.61 kilometers is equal to 1 mile. Ito po ang mga conversion factors for land na kung saan nasa matatag curriculum for grade 7. So ngayon, meron tayong unit fraction. Nanggaling po ito dito sa conversion factors natin para makapag-change tayo mamaya ng unit to another unit. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin sabihin ito na 2.54 cm over 1 inch or pwedeng balik rin 1 inch over 2.54 cm. Meron tayong options kasi depende po sa hinihingi unit ng problem. Pangalawa, pwede natin sabihin na 3.28 feet over 1 meter or pwede natin sabihin na 1 meter over 3.28 feet. Next, that is equal to 1.61 km over 1 mile or pwede natin balik na rin na 1 mile over 1.61 km. Ito po ang kailangan nating tandaan para makapag-convert tayo ng unit to another unit, ng land. Okay, so with that, let's convert number 1. Convert 12 inches to centimeters. So, remember, write the equation gaya ng ginawa natin sa previous video lesson. And then, set a pattern. Since the number given units mo is inches going to centimeter, para ma-change natin, no? So, ano kaya ang unit fraction ang gagamitin natin para ma-cancel yung inches para ma-change ma natin ng centimeter. So, we have to use the unit fraction 2.54 centimeter over 1 inch. Then, you can now cancel the same unit inch. And then, i-multiply mo ngayon. 2.54 centimeter times 12, that is very good, equals to 30.48 centimeter. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa so, makatawid, si 30.48 centimeter ay may katumbas na 12 inches. Ibig sabihin, isang ruler po yan. One foot po yan. Okay, next number two, how many inches are there in 25.4 centimeters? So write the equation and then set a pattern again since the number given units, diba? From cm going to inches. So ano kayang unit fraction ang ilalagay ko sa parenthesis para makancel ko yung aking centimeter? Ano kaya yon? So ibig sabihin, we have to use the 1 inch over 2.54 centimeter. Then, you can now cancel the same unit CM. And then, i-multiply mo ngayon yung 1 inch times 25.4 is equal to 25.4 inches. Divide mo ngayon by 2.54. And that is how many? Very good. Equals to 10 inches. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa makatawid, si 10 inches or 10 inches ay may katumbas na 25.4 centimeter. Next, number three, how many feet are there in five meters? So, write the equation, tandaan natin, and set a pattern. Since the number given units, diba, from meter, i-change mo siya ng feet. Ano kayang aking unit fraction na gagamitin para ilagay sa parenthesis, pero take note, ha, yung meter dapat nasa baba or denominator. Yung numerator mo nandun yung feet. So, we have to use the 3.28 feet over 1 meter. And then, you can now send... Cancel the same unit meter and then multiply mo ngayon yung 3.28 feet times 5. And that is how many? Very good. Equals to 16.4 feet. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa makatawid, si 16.4 feet ay may katumbas na limang metro or meters. Next, number 4. Convert 5 feet to meters. So remember, kailang ma-master po natin yung ating write the equation and then set a pattern. Since the number given units, diba, from feet, 
i-change natin siya ng meter. Anong unit fraction kaya ang ilalagay ko sa parenthesis? But take note, tandaan mo, yung fit dapat nasa denominator mo at yung numerator mo nandoon yung meter para makancel mo yung fit. We have to use the 1 meter over 3.28 feet. Then you can now cancel the same unit fit and then i-multiply mo yung 1 meter times 5, 5 meters yon. I-divide mo by 3.28. Kaya nga, that is very good. Equals to 1.52 meters. Nakaround up po yan ha, sa two decimal places or hundreds place value. Kaya nga, that is now the number equivalent unit. Sa makatawid, si 1.52 meters ay may katumbas na limang, uh, limang feet or five feet. Limang ruler yan. Okay? And number five, how many kilometers are there in four miles? So, remember, write the equation, kailangan ma-master natin, and set up pattern. Since the number given units mo, di ba, miles, i-change mo siya ng kilometers. Anong unit fraction kaya ang ilalagay ko sa parenthesis? We're in the denominator, nandun yung miles mo, at yung kilometer nasa numerator. Kaya nga, we have to use the 1.61 kilometer over 1 mile. Kaya nga, you can now cancel the same unit miles. Hindi pwede pagbalik ta rin yan ha? kasi nga, hindi makakancel yung miles pag tinaas mo siya or binaba mo yung kilometer. And you can now cancel and then multiply mo ngayon yung 4 times 1.61 kilometers and that is very good. Equals to 6.44 kilometers. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa makatuwid, Si 6.44 kilometers ay merong katumbas na 4 miles. Next, number 6, convert 15 kilometers to miles. So, remember, write the equation, kailang ma-master mo, and then set a pattern. The number given units, diba, from kilometer, it change mo siya or i-convert mo ng miles. Anong unit fraction kaya ang ilalagay sa parenthesis na kung saan yung denominator mo nandun yung kilometer at yung numerator mo nandoon naman yung miles para ma-cancel mo yung kilometer. We have to use the 1 mile over 1.61 kilometers. Then you can now set up and then cancel mo yung same unit na kilometer. Then i-multiply mo yung 1 mile times 15, 15 miles yon. I-divide mo by 1.61. And that is how many? Very good. Equals to 9.32 miles. Nakaround off yan na into two decimal places or hundreds place value. Ibig sabihin, yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa makatawid, si 9.32 miles ay may katumbas na 15 kilometers. Next, number 7. Convert 140 centimeters to feet. Okay, so write the equation and then set a pattern. But take note, kung babalikan natin yung ating table of unit fraction, so wala tayong direct, di ba? Ibig sabihin niya, magdadalawang conversion unit tayo para makuha natin yung or ma-change natin from cm to feet. So we have to use the unit fraction 1 inch over 2.54 centimeter. And then you can now cancel the same unit centimeter. I-multiply mo ngayon yung 1 inch times 140, 140 inches yon. I-divide mo by 2.54. And that is how many? Very good. Equals to 55.12 inches. Nakaround up po yan sa two decimal places or hundreds place value. Kung babalikan natin, di ba, inches, ang hinihingi sa problem fit. So, hindi pa tayo nakakaabot dun sa sagot. Gagamit ka pa ng another unit fraction naman. Copy mo ulit yung sagot mo na 55.12 inches, imumultimply mo pa siya sa iba pang unit fraction. Ito naman, gagamitin mo yung iyong 1 foot over 12 inches para ma-change mo yung inches to fit. Kaya nga, we have to set up and then cancel mo yung same unit na inches and then i-multiply mo ngayon yung 1 foot times 55.12 55.12 feet yun. I-divide mo ngayon by 12 and that is how many? Very good. That is 4.59 feet. So since fit na po yan, yan na po yung sagot doon na si 4.59 feet ay may katumbas siya na 140 centimeter. Next, for last number, how many centimeters are there in 2.5 feet? Same given natin. I mean, same yung ating unit fraction, no? Pero pabaliktad naman. So, ibig sabihin, write the equation and then set up pattern. Okay, so ibig sabihin, gagamitin ko dyan yung merong feet sa denominator at yung isa ay inches. Ibig sabihin, we have to use the 12 inches over 1 foot para makancel mo yung foot dyan. And then, cancel mo. And then, multiply mo ngayon yung 12 inches times 2.5. And that is how many? Very good. Equals to 30 inches. And from inches, hindi pa tayo nakakaabot sa centimeter. Ibig sabihin, gagamit ka pa ng another unit fraction para ma-change mo yung inches to 
centimeter. Kaya nga, we have to use the 2.54 centimeter over 1 inch. Okay? Set up mo. And then, you can now cancel the same unit inch. And then, i-multiply mo ngayon yung 2.54 cm times 30. That is very good. Equals to 76.2 centimeter. Since nakaabot na tayo or nakuha na natin yung unit na centimeter, yan na po yung ating Number equivalent unit. Sa makatubid si 76.2 cm ay may katumbas na 2.5 feet. Ibig sabihin, dalawang ruler at kalahati. Okay, so with that, you are going to answer the question number one for assessment. Ready? Okay, times up. The answer for number one is letter D, 9.8 inches. Okay, so analyze natin, di ba? So, trivia ito sa science. The near point of the human eye is the shortest distance the eye can naturally focus on an object. This value is defined to be 25 centimeters. So, how many inches is the human eye near point? So, kaya nakuha yung sagot na letter D or 9.8 inches ay ginamit po yung unit fraction na 1 inch over 2.54 centimeter. Ibig sabihin niyan, so, dinivide siya. 25 centimeter divided by 2.54. Okay, next number 2. Ready? Okay, the answer is letter C. 6.9 Paano po nakuha yun? O, diba the distance between Marikina and Quezon City is 4.3 miles. Gaano ka layo ang distansya nila sa kilometers? We have to use the conversion unit, 1.61 kilometer over 1 mile. Para makancel mo yan, ibig sabihin, minultiply lang po yung 4.3 miles doon sa 1.61. Kaya nakuha yung 6.92 kilometers. And for last number, ready? Okay. So, the answer is, let paano po nakuha yun? 177.8 cm. Diba si Jungkook, one of the members of the BTS. Si Jungkook ay may taas na or height na 5 feet 10 inches tall. Gaano siya kataas or katangkad sa centimeters? So, so, ang ginamit po dyan ay yung ating unit fraction na 12 inches over 1 foot. Diba sabi doon, magkaibang unit, diba? Yung 5 feet, kinonvert mo muna sa inches. Kaya ito times 12 mo lang. Kaya 5 times 12, that is 60 inches. So, since, since ang sabi dyan, may 10 inches pa siya. Ibig sabihin yan, ipa-plus mo ngayon yung 60 inches plus 10 inches. That is equal to 70 inches. Ibig sabihin yan, from that 70 inches... Iko-convert mo na siya 2 centimeters. So, another conversion unit fraction, you have to use the, yan, 2.54 cm over 1 inch. Ibig sabihin yan, i-multiply mo naman yung 70 inches by 2.54 cm. Kaya na-cancel yung inches yan. Kaya nga, we have the 177.8 cm. Yan na po yung ating sagot sa letter B na sagot. Okay, so with that, you are going to answer the assignment. Convert the following units of length in metric to English system and English to metric system. Copy and answer with solution na on one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Copy. Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something and keep on learning everyone. Bye-bye and keep safe.